right guys welcome back to a new video today i'm with a new peugeot 408 gt version top end version and in this video we will make the full review interior exterior everything about this car you will find out at the end of this video of course when it comes to test drive I have a separate video if you want to see it how it's on the road I have a separate video with the test drive so if you want to see it probably it's already on the channel check it out if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out before we go forward if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Mosedorf I will leave the link in the description so if you want to check them out if you want to test drive the cars and see it come here because they have a lot of cars the newest test cars from Peugeot and also they have quite good prices I see also on this uh, new 408 they already have a huge discount uh, and I will give you all details in this video so first of all I want to start with technical data and then we will go interior exterior and I try to explain you everything uh, about the car so first of all this car comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line uh, and also it comes with an electric motor that it's placed in the front it's a front wheel drive system uh, so it's not an all-wheel drive system it's just a front wheel drive system both electric motor and and uh, the engine it's in the front the power of the car the maximum power 225 horsepower and also 360 newton meters now more important is the price here in switzerland the base is the starting price of this gt version this is the top end version keep in mind it's 53,600 francs this is the starting price but if you add these options here that if you pause the video and read it out the price will go up to 62,350 francs but here at Emil Frey in Mosedorf you already have a 3,450 francs discount so the final price will be 59,490 francs a pretty good price taking into consideration the fact that uh, Peugeot with this 408 and in general Peugeot aim for the premium and it's somewhere between premium and budget cars and I think it's a good price. If you would have to buy a Mercedes or an Audi or probably a BMW with all these technology, safety features, comfort and what this car, what this Peugeot 408 offers, you will have to pay over 100,000 for sure. Anyway, now let me talk a little bit about the options. So the car come with this leather, Napa leather, 3,600 francs are those Napa leather seats that I will explain you and I will show you about them a little bit later. They are incredible comfortable. I'm a big fan of those Peugeot seats and I will show you later. Uh, they are really good but quite expensive. 360 degrees camera, 600 francs, totally deserve to get it as an option. Then you have this focal sound system that cost 1,400 francs. They are really good. I mean the sound, this sound system, it's really, really good. Uh, you have to try it out. Then we have the 20 inch rim, 650 francs. They look fabulous. I mean, you have to take it because it looks just in a big way. Then we have onboard charging. If you want to charge it faster, 600 francs extra. And I think you can go up to 22 kilowatt hour if i'm not wrong or 11 i think 11 kilowatt hour i'm not sure about that i have to check it out again panoramic glass roof this is the panoramic glass roof it's like 1700 francs and then you have wireless charging right here i will show you as well 200 francs that's totally definitely a must have if you have smartphone that charge wireless now if i remember well the onboard charging go up to 22 kilowatt hour so um, this is really really uh, useful because you can charge the car in around 40 30 40 minutes uh, completely now I want to go even deeper in technical data because there are some things that you need to know so as I said before the car come with a 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 225 horsepower 360 Newton meters it's combined with an eight speed automatic transmission E AET. Another important thing is the fact that the car comes with a battery, lithium battery. 12.4 kilowatt hour is the capacity of the battery. 
and the car can drive up to 64 kilometers only in electric mode probably in real life around 50 45 50 kilometers depend on the weather depend on the condition but it's really cool that you are able to drive from home to work and back only in electric mode and if you have the possibility to charge the car every day at home if you have a house or if you have a socket somewhere in a parking lot and if you charge it at night you can drive every day only in electric mode and you have the the possibility to drive in petrol mode when you go to long trips and in this way it's a great deal to buy a plug-in hybrid but if you don't have the possibility to charge it every day or it's hard to charge it i wouldn't think about a plug-in hybrid probably the petrol engine or a full hybrid will fit you much much better on a mild hybrid anyway the trunk space 471 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1545 liter also notice here that if you get the petrol engine you will have a bigger trunk but yeah in other video we will talk about that as well the fuel tank capacity 40 liters also the turning circle 11.2 meters the car come with ventilated brake disc on the front normal brake disc on the rear we have independent McPherson suspension in the front and multi-link independent on the rear another thing to point out is the fact that when I test drive the car it was doing incredible well over the bumps so that's something to keep in mind great great comfort over the bumps but that was a big help also because of those seats but we will talk about that in a second also the ground clearance 18.9 centimeters and this is the last information that i give you and now let's start the review outside inside and then in the end as always we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it guys this is the key kind of the same key as peugeot use it on other cars but the only only difference is the new logo that you can see here other than that what you can do with the key the car come with great comfort features for example keyless entrance that means if you come close to the car the car will unlock the the doors and if you go farther away a little bit the car will unlock the car automatically but if you come close you don't have to press any button because the car will feel that you are here and you can see right now it's just unlock the car it comes with electric folding mirrors also this is kind of standard on the car and this is really great and also under the mirror i don't know if you can see it it comes with an led light that it will illuminate the floor in the nighttime and it will look really really nice now other thing that you can do with the key is the fact that you can open the trunk of course you just press the key and then the trunk will open automatically and this is if i'm not wrong only on the gt and allure pack version i'm not sure if on the first entry level basis version you will have this option but keep in mind that uh, also you can open it and close it from the key and you don't have to press all the time the, the button you just press it two seconds and then the car will close the trunk it's incredible cold and it starts snowing right now uh, but i still uh, do the review until the end now let me go inside turn on the lights and we will talk a little bit about the exterior design i love the design i mean in my eyes this is the most beautiful car in this class i like how peugeot and the designers uh, are designing the cars i mean from 2021 all the designs look just fabulous not only this peugeot 408 but if you look at uh, 3008 right there it looks just splendid the new 308 look also nice it's down there uh, i already reviewed on the channel very beautiful design in terms of the exterior design i have nothing nothing to complain that's that's the true it's super attractive the car it's mega attractive it looks like a super expensive premium car also from from behind here if you look at the lights if you look at the lines if you look at the shapes of the car it looks fabulous it's the perfect combination between suv sedan hatchback this is the perfect perfect combination this crossover it's it's lovely and the coupe shape and the lines and everything look look really nice the front end of the car look at there look how nice they integrate the lights and the shape and the grill and everything look in a big way i don't know about you but i love the car if i will have to choose a car if someone will come tomorrow to put me choose and you have to say you have to choose a peugeot car 
definitely I will get this 408. I think it's it's a perfect size, the perfect design, and it's it's really really beautiful. Now, guys, that we talk about the design, I want to talk a little bit about the color. I don't know if you can see it from the video but the color it's quite special it's not like what you get on other cars it's it's one of the most beautiful color that i see on a car until today because depending which angle you look at the car kind of the color is changing between a green and a blue you know it's a combination between bluish and green and it's it's so so beautiful i don't know how can i explain you i try to to show you a little bit closer and from the distance but it's it's really stand out it's really attractive and yeah it, it's it's really beautiful for example what impressed me the most it's a crossover i'm not so tall i'm 173 centimeter but but the car it's relatively low on the ground that means you have a great aerodynamic and also that should help the the driving at high speed and also the consumption up here you have a radio antenna in black glossy really nice integrated in the body of the car here we don't have a roof spoiler or some kind of roof different roof spoiler that you find in other cars because here it's completely flat in the middle that helped aerodynamic of the car and here on the side we have kind of a wings i don't know how they call it but kind of a wings beautiful design it and integrated in the car with a lot of sharp edges and lines and also on the other side beautiful interesting new unique design i like to see all kind of unique designs on new cars and also you can see they kind of extended it's not straight on the on the line with the glass it's a little bit extended on the side and really interesting the the way they design these side lines here it's it's really unique and really cool i like that in the back we have a tinted window tinted windows on the side we will go there and i will show you as well but here we have kind of the spoiler that help also at high speed you can go uh, and see closer how it's integrated in in the back design here really really nice i love the way they design it every single line have his purpose and it's a very nice integrated in the car up here we have a glass roof it's optional i tell you in the beginning of the video here around the windows on the upper side we have kind of a rubber matte rubber on the upper side and then on the downside we have glossy plastic a black glossy plastic very nice integrated here very nice combination with this b pillar here uh, here between the window in the back we have also this kind of a rubber i like that and look how nice they integrate and they blend together those windows this kind of uh, tinted windows here with tinted windows here and also the quality of the rubber here it's really really good as i tell you peugeot aimed to go to premium cars and they kind of did it with a good price in my opinion now glossy plastic here glossy plastic here on the mirror on the mirror uh, leg and also completely glossy plastic uh, made the mirror quite nice combination the colors combination are great we have led light on the blinkers here led light down here to illuminate the floor and also you have a camera for the 360 degrees camera here integrated in the mirror also big mirrors blind spot technology in the corner uh, right here i show you also in the test drive video and other than that you can see here the doors are a little bit extended outside really interesting it's not straight away down as we see on most of the cars it's a little bit outside so they make this this part a little bit more muscular a little bit more extended in in out and also in this area here you can see with those lines really interesting the the, the way they design it is really really cool also here on the left side we have the charging port in ac so you here you can charge the car you can charge the battery actually and on the other side we have the petrol part but it's locked we have to unlock it from the interior but keep in mind it's on the right side other than that there are so many things small things to explain you on the car we will we will try to explain you all here we have a camera and sensors for light and and raining the camera that can read the traffic speed limits the signs and also help with lane assist and all that safety features and let's go to the front here you can see from this angle how the the colors are different i don't know if you can see it on the camera it's different but with your own eye uh, it's really interesting the way it looks looking from the front 
super aggressive look and on this GT version it comes with this Matrix LED lights, the newest technology from Peugeot, amazing lights. I drive the car in the nighttime and they are fabulous, I mean really really good view. And if you go closer you can see the sharp edges they start to add a lot of sharp edges on the car and it looks a little bit like an asian japanese style and you can see how they beginning here on the side here we have the matrix led light not only that they look nice integrated but also uh, they are very very practical down here we have the turning signals and also the daylight will come here everything it's led light in the front here also the car come with if i'm not wrong four parking sensors the first one is here in the front the second one is here also 408 writing in the front here and then we have the grill but very nice integrated look how cool they integrate the colors with the black glossy really beautiful and also those line i find it really nice integrated uh, air intake here everywhere on this area the front camera for 360 degrees camera and we have the new peugeot logo behind the peugeot logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety features and down here of course some air intake some grill they extend it on the down part but everything it's simple it's flat it's it's nice and also to be honest i like the way they integrate and they put the number plate down there i think it's the perfect position for it it's just just my opinion but in general it looks simple it looks nice also it allowed the air to flow around the car so we don't have any air intakes on the side it's just like an electric car they try to make it as simple as possible in my opinion another element that i like very much about uh, the car that you can see it from the side are those plastic around the wheels you can see this plastic protection around the wheels are super super useful because if you scratch the car then you don't have to repaint this beautiful color and also it's very hard to repaint it to look beautiful so they kind of add those plastic protections here and you can see they are quite extended outside so you don't have to worry if you scratch this area because you can change it very easy and also it's very useful in this area here where a lot of rust occur a lot of stones they can hit this area and in time it can occur rust but because you have this plastic it's super practical down here on the down part everywhere and also in the back part the same story it's extended with a bumper there so you can see it's a little bit outside so i don't know how they did it but they integrate it very nice and this is a practical uh, practice that most of the manufacturers they do these days uh, to protect the paint and the cars in time they make it more reliable in time the handle of the car it's very simple as you see before and it has very good quality now also the doors quality are incredible good so you can hear it also when you are inside outside hear this out very nice sound i love that we will talk about that also a little bit later but let me finish with the back design on the upper side here we have the lights we have this glossy line plastic in the back peugeot logo in the middle lovely three-dimensional tail lights i don't know if you can see it on the video turning signals everything look perfect peugeot integrated there really beautiful i go a little bit backwards so you can see better the back design and the way it looks but the only thing that i wish was different on this car on the back of the car are those fog lamps that are normal bolt light and i wish it was led light somehow we have it on the both side that's a good thing and also the reverse light sadly is down there and also is not an led it's a bulb light and now i think i understand what why they make it like that because here usually if you make an accident if you hit it usually you you make it you broke it and then you have to rebuy it and it's much more cheaper to rebuy a normal halogen light than to rebuy an led super nice design but anyway not big deal and it looks also nice and the fact that they make completely this bumper down here in a matte plastic it's very practical because if you scratch it if you hit it uh, usually it happened to many people you can change very easy only the plastic pack 
and then you will have a brand new bumper in the back. And also they kind of design very nice this bumper here with some glossy plastic, uh, with some lines here, kind of a air diffuser there in the back. Also really interesting the way they integrate the reverse camera. It's down here. Look at this. The reverse camera is here and it has also a springle, water springle. Usually it is up here, but they somehow move it down here. I don't know what's the reason, probably because you will see it in the camera, this area, because it's a little bit more extended in the back, but they move it down here. That's something to keep in mind. If I'm not wrong in the back, also four parking sensors, of course, yes, four parking sensors in the back. And also we have LED lights on the number plate. This is a good, good thing, at least for me, I like that hybrid here on the right side and also 408 so you know which kind of version you have my hands are frozen it's mega cold and it starts snowing a little bit but i i love so much the car i'm so excited about the car that i don't even feel it too much 20 inch rims they come on the gt version and they look fabulous sorry about the noise guys those people working here so i try my best uh, to do the review i hope you can hear it well now 20 inch rims optional i tell you in the beginning but beautiful look look how nice they design those rims they look so unique and so cool i think they were super inspired and i love it with a new logo here ventilated brake this on the front and uh, also on the rear the car come with normal brake discs and the same beautiful rims now what do you think i think those fit lovely on the car but they come also with 19 inch rims i think they are much better for economy and for comfort now what i want to do is just show you the engine bay the front part and also close the lights yeah i don't think we need any more the lights close the door you hear it it sounds so nice when you close the door really good quality there now here I hope it's an automatic lift gate. I don't remember to be honest. Ah, it was so easy, guys. It's just, it's just that you have to push this uh, here. It, it was mega easy, but I just forget about it. It's a manual lift gate here, but it's very light. I like the fact that the door it's, it's super super light, and also you have protection here for the engine and insulation. I was expect about that because I hear the engine very silent from inside and from outside. Here is the engine, the pure tech 1.6 liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line. And also somewhere under there, we have the electric motor as well. Also everything is in the front here, uh, the 12 volt battery, the fuse box, uh, air filter there. We have also the liquid for the wipers and everything look clean and very well built integrated here. So anyway, guys, let me show you automatic lift gate. It's big. We have a hatchback. That's why I tell you it's, it's a great combination. Now, here what I notice, uh, it's big enough, 471 liters on the plug-in hybrid. On the normal version, you have over 513, I think, if I remember well. But uh, here you can see in the back, you don't have a flat floor but you have this beautiful metallic plate that looks like expensive cars premium cars also the handle it's kind of in aluminum and looks very nice what i notice here in the back is the fact that this area here you can see how big it is and then the trunk it's relatively small with the back size of the car but in general if you come close here you you will see that it's big enough to fit in here a lot of stuff also you have some elastics on the side you have some hooks you have the possibility to fold down the seats from here and from here i will show you later here you have some storage space where you can put your stuff those are the cables that come standard with the car guys so keep in mind uh, you don't have to pay for it extra they will come standard and you have here like five centimeter step and then if you want to go down here let me show you that under the floor you don't have too much space because here is the focal speaker and you have some space for small stuff like triangle the repair kit and other stuff the thing is that it's a plug-in hybrid they have to fit somewhere the battery and all that stuff 
so that's why you don't have too much space here under the floor but in general it's more than enough space to go in holiday with your kids because here it's a lot of space now i like the fact that they kind of keep this strong protection up here so you don't have to always pull it or take it out and stuff like that and you have the access to the trunk and also up here you have some handles the button to close the trunk and also of course you can take out this protection very easy like that and you can put it on the side and this is what i will do right now because i want to show you how it looks when you fold down the seats also the great part is that you can fold down this middle part and carry long items let me go here on the side to show you that and i i notice here a few a few things that i like very much so one of this is the fact that you can carry long items like skis or stuff like that without any problem and you can still have two passengers in the back there and then the other good thing is that you can fold all those things from the back you know you don't have to go in the front you just come here you pull this like that you pull it like that and then they are go uh, they are down there and you can let me put this on the side a little bit and you can see that you have a lot of space here to fit in uh, plenty of stuff the only thing is that you don't have a flat floor uh, and you have this here you know like it's it's almost flat it's like 90 degrees you can see from here uh, but you can fit in here a lot of things without without any problem and also here you have like one or two centimeters step but other than that it's it's okay it's, it's more than okay to fit in here big items without any problem also if you go on the side open the door i like the fact that when you open the door it's open completely also with this window and it's a big entrance i mean it's huge not big huge entrance here uh, also the seat belt you can put it on the side and you can see how big is the entrance and you can see one more time from this angle how much space you have there in the back a lot of space and also on the legs room you have plenty of leg room huge huge legs room here that was i i was super impressed with, with that anyway uh, if you want to put it back you have to put the seat belt like that and then push it back there and then i will put everything back guys i have to go on the other side to put the seat belt in the right position but let me put everything back and then we will go inside the car all right perfect first of all before we go inside we talk a little bit about uh, the doors here we have like a fixed window here and one that can be fold down and what i noticed before is that it's folding until here so you have like two three centimeters but it's more than perfect i mean it's all the way down tinted windows in terms of design beautiful design on the doors as always special make nice designs also in the interior uh, on the upper side here we have plastic that's something to keep in mind but you don't know until you touch it because it's good quality plastic here you have a very beautiful design uh, also in gray then we have the focal speakers very nice integrated and also beautiful color the way they design it down here we have plastic the handle here we have leather everywhere in this area where your arm is resting and also we have this green insertion some storage space here and then we have the speaker another speaker down there so yeah it's very useful because this place here it's quite quite big to fit in stuff also big is the entrance here so we have huge entrance in the car you can see also from this angle uh, inside the cabin also the seats the leather seats napa leather seats optional uh, incredible seats i mean the quality of the seats it's fabulous the headrest the way it feels it's it's incredible and also the design and also they are super super comfy when you sit on them and also they add this technology from citroen you can see here here and here they add this 15 millimeter foam and that help over the bumps the comfort it's it's crazy is a fix for child you can install two child seats and also in the middle as you see before we have a two place for uh, cup holders two cup holders and some storage space also leather as well uh, very very good quality and i like the fact that the middle part they let it flat so you can have three person in the back without any problem also plenty of storage space on the legs room that's the the big point here the big part i will show you later in the middle here you have some vents two usb-c or two usb-c yes 
and we have some storage space here and also they are illuminated in the night time behind the front seat you have some plastic and some storage space here on the both sides let me go inside finally oh boy because it's super cold now going inside here very very good position here and not only very good position i'm 173 centimeters but check this out guys look at the space on my legs it's incredible almost half of my hand here crazy legs room really good i can stretch my legs in the front incredible good space on my legs and also if you look at the seat they are adjusted in my driving position and this is a little bit yeah it's, it's yeah this one i i think i forget to adjust the back part because i filmed something in the front i don't remember but anyway it should be around this but a lot a lot of space i'm 173 centimeters the head space is not incredible it's like i have like four fingers over my head but it's more than enough if you go a little bit forward it's more than perfect and it's normal because it has this coupe shape uh, in the back now another thing that i like very much is the fact that they extend the window in the back here and when you extend the window in the back it allow the person in the back to have incredible good visibility very very good visibility outside and i like that and it looks nice it feels nice inside here it's super comfy over the head you have this uh, roof that the quality of the roof it's very very good also you have a handle here very nice it feels nice to be here i really like it really like it now let's go in the middle now going in the middle because you don't have a big transmission tunnel it's relatively small like maybe five centimeters you can go very easy in the middle and even here in the middle you have more than enough space on the on the legs and also you can have your legs together somehow here so it's really really good space also on the head it's like less space here like two fingers over the head stretch my hand almost completely and also here almost completely but it's fine i think for short medium trips you can have three person here in the back and also of course on the back it's a little bit stiffer on the down part it's better it's not bad for me it's okay i can stay here also for longer trips now up here you have some led lights look at this also we touch kind of a touch button and this is the back guys really practical in my opinion now let's go in the front we will go in the front and i will talk a little bit about the new multimedia system new 3d cockpit also uh the design from here if you look at the cockpit design it's futuristic i mean Peugeot makes such a interesting future crazy uh, designs beautiful design the way they integrate everything there look in a big way if you look at the cockpit if you look at the new multimedia system with the touch screens two touch screens there really interesting really nice lines and um, it, it's it's kind of one of the most beautiful dashboard out there anyway let's go in the front all right now uh, before we go inside we talk a little bit about the door one big window from one piece that means good visibility outside i noticed that when i test drive it as well the design of the door it's very similar with the back one but this time on the upper side here we have soft material everywhere soft 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 here as well we have the same gray beautiful insertion here i go closer so you can see the trim and we have some led light here in the nighttime you can see it better led light integrated here on the upper side here we have uh, soft here we have some plastic in this area but then we have again this leather with very good quality you can see the stitches uh, also we have the buttons controllers for the uh, windows and also for the mirror you can fold the mirror control it electrically lock and unlock child lock and all that features uh, here then we have a lot of storage space i like that it's super practical then we have the speaker here and at the entrance in the car i like very much the peugeot plate here it looks super expensive and nice and also aluminium pedals another thing that i like very much very very good pedals they are super super nice the entrance it's big enough and you can see one more time from this angle you can see the leather seats the napa leather seats and you can see uh, also the fact that the seats are electrically adjustable you can adjust it electrically from here every position you can save to position and uh, if we go closer here to the seats you can see the quality it's it's just fabulous and as i said before 
uh, they add some extra foam here they are special they take some technology from Citroen so they make it as comfortable as possible and also over the bumps you really feel that side support here so great great seats in my opinion they are they are fabulous and also you can adjust the the, the front part here then we have here the button to open the tank to schedule the climatic system and then to open the the trunk in the back there are some led lights on the number on the um, aluminum pedals there anyway let me go inside now going inside close the door i like the fact that sound insulation is very good because the guys working there we can talk a little bit better inside here now first of all we talk about visibility visibility outside the windows it's super super good nothing to complain i test drive the car check out the video uh, and i noticed that the visibility is great over the the windows also you can see one more time in the back the seats from this angle and then here in the middle we have the center console we have some soft material here the stitches down here we have some plastic but up here it's soft and nice armrest very good quality a little bit stiffer uh, but it's it's perfect i mean your arm will be perfect here to uh, reach out every single uh, button and every single uh, feature i'll show you later it's very easy the way they design it you have some storage space here where you can leave the key then you have a button you open this up you have some storage space you have a usb c port there and yeah it's super super uh, useful now going forward also in the middle electronic handbrake the only downside that i find on the car it doesn't have auto hold or maybe it's somewhere in the settings we have to check this out and we have to ask them uh, but other than that everything it's it's lovely so electronic handbrake here we have two cup holders also you can close it and open this up some USB-C, 12 volt port, a place where you can leave your phone there and if that's not enough you have another space where you can leave your phone up here and you can charge it wireless so you have a wireless charging here for your phone and then you have another space for another phone down there very nice very nice and very practical design this center console i love this aluminum here it's not a simple aluminum it's kind of a matte aluminum and it doesn't leave fingerprints i love that look at this it's just crazy nice great job Peugeot I love this part here uh, then you have different driving modes from here you have like free driving modes so you can actually I have to start the engine so let me break and start the engine this is the button this is the start engine and then you have like electric mode hybrid mode and sport mode three different mode we tested before all these three different modes so check out the test drive to see it here we have shift by wireless transmission this is the new one no stick no crazy stuff it's just this crazy nice shift by wire so if you want to go in drive you go like this if you want to go in reverse you go like this you are in reverse now and you can see this new 360 degrees camera that comes optional and here you can see the back camera the front camera the side camera and also you can choose from here which one you want to see it and this is incredible i mean i love the way they design it because it has such a good resolution very very good resolution parking sensors on the car if you want to put it in park you put it in park this b mode it's for regenerative brakes so when you drive in normal driving if you take the foot after acceleration it will regenerate it will kind of break it's like an engine brake great great job very simple very 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 modern also when you go in reverse keep in mind the mirrors are dimming down you can see it there and also dimming back uh, when you put it in park lovely now up here they still keep some physical buttons so if you want to go in climatic system you go fast in climatic system if you want to defrost the windows or turn on the heating you can do it from here you have also the possibility to go directly to the car settings you press this uh, blinkers are here the hazard light and also the volume is here so you can put it uh, to low then up here on the screen they kind of split it in two i have a separate video with it if you want to see it check it out on the channel so we have kind of shortcut buttons is the toggle they call it the eye toggle and you can customize also these things here you can choose what you like to have down here you know so this is really really useful um, and also from here now yeah and also from here you can go to mirror screen so you can connect your android and apple phone 
without cable. You can use it cable, but you can do it wireless. Also, I have a, I will have a video separate if you want to see it. Check it out on the channel. And then you have the phone connectivity here. Of course, you have to connect your phone. Navigation that's much better. If I'm not wrong, uh, it's used Tom Tom. If I remember well and it's super responsive I mean it used a new processor behind it a new RAM better RAM and it works quite quite good uh, and also if you choose a destination you go drive and it's like boom it's working super super fast you choose from here the directions and look at this it's it's very very easy also it shows you where are the tank where you, where you should tank and where are the uh, tank stations it's, it's really interesting and it's much more responsive and you the great part is that the great part is that it shows you f until where you can drive with electric in electric mode so uh, how much you can drive with the battery so this is really useful I love it then go to climatic system you just press this one it's very easy guys you will think like okay uh, you have physical button but it's very easy to go in different options while you're driving and you go here and you can adjust the climatic system the temperature you have you can put it on auto you can synchronize for both uh, then you can go to seats for example the car come with heated steering wheel and also heated seats but in order to activate it you have to go into menu you have to go here and you activate the heated steering wheel from here and you can choose from here also the heating seats and uh, the position so they work super super fine that's something to keep in mind but uh, you have to go here to do it then you have the air quality also on the air quality you have to activate this and then it will somehow refresh the air inside the car so this is also a new feature so Volkswagen and Skoda have it before uh, but now it's also on Peugeot preconditioning you have this option this is great uh, before you go to the car in winter it's super useful but keep in mind you have these options that are super nice then you go to media on the media you have radio stations settings here uh, that you can set up different options in it then you go to home this is the home screen you press the home screen and here you can customize this home screen depend how you want it so you have a few pages here uh, that you can customize so you can have navigation mirror screen settings help radio and then you go on the second page you have here like uh, climatic system seats option application drawer you have the possibility to save 20 kilometer in e-save so the car still have some uh, energy in the battery and then the third page you can have the navigation the radio for example and then you have another page where you can have massage on your seats so you can activate it from here and it's great that the car come with a few uh, speeds and also not only speeds but you have wave you have stretch you have so many options I think 11 options you have uh, massage settings 11 versions I should say and also different speeds down here so it's it's really really interesting to be honest and it's great that you and the passengers will come with this massage function then you have seats option again settings mirror application drawer and this is the last page now if you ask me what it's application drawer application drawer it's where you find all the settings of the car so if, if you go to others uh, here you find um, lane keeping assist you go to functions here you have all the functions like panoramic camera clubs optical detection so those are all the parking functions uh, rear cross traffic alert then you have um, assistance systems like lane assist automatic braking control traction control you have speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition and driver alert settings you can activate all those things from here you have also the tutorial that help you uh, with functions if you don't know how to use the car you can do it from here if we go back to application drawer you will see that you have so many features you have the energy uh, view here that shows you what happened with the car in real time for example if you let me start the engine if you start the engine it will show you here uh, where the energy will go how much battery you have 
and what happened with the regenerative brake and stuff like that while you're driving. So a very nice uh, graphic that represent the energy and what happened with the engines. The statistics are like the consumption and what happened uh, with the car in the last kilometer in the last time. Then you have the charging here information and then you have the e-save. So that's also very useful stuff. Then go to application drawer, you have the help, you have mirror link, media, all that stuff, uh, voice command and settings. If you go to settings, oh my God, it starts snowing in a big way and I have to finish the video. Uh, here you can connect on the settings, you have a lot of stuff like profile. Here you can add and make a profile, customization, you can customize the display customization, the screen color, interior color, from here you can choose what you like to have as a color so this is also really interesting then you have also sound and ambience active sport sound so the car come with a different sport when you put it in uh, different driving modes exterior animation interior animation connectivity here it's very easy to connect different stuff english the the, the language you can change it from here kilometer miles temperature uh, factory reset then you have the brightness you can choose the brightness here interior brightness cockpit 3d uh, cluster audio settings are all here then you have also let me come closer you have the vehicle here all the settings vehicle lights settings then you have the vehicle access settings and then you have also the safety features and you have updates you can make updates and um, i think this is all guys i think i show you everything uh, anyway, I will have a separate video with this multimedia system, so if you want to see it, uh, check it out on the channel. Now, here we have the glow box. Let me show you the glow box. Huge glow box as Peugeot uses with. Peugeot have incredible big glow box. LED light here, very useful. One of the best glow box out there. On the A pillar, we have focal speaker, so you can see on both sides, uh, focal speaker, very nice design and very, very good quality. Also, you have another focal speaker in the front there. On the dashboard, soft material everywhere here, here. Very nice design, the same kind of matte, no fingerprints, uh, chromish uh, design and also very nice integrated the vents feel good quality when you touch them also here the same story uh, and also here it send the air around the window and it defrost the window really fast soft material here as well here as well the steering wheel here it's a discussion because many people discuss about the steering wheel for me if you adjust it in a perfect position you will see it perfectly like that look at this you see everything there and you have a perfect position because you can steer very easy it's a small and nice steering wheel it's light and easy to to maneuver uh, also you have some stalks behind here for different functions great grip great quality on the steering wheel leather very good quality you have the gt here so you know uh, what version you have the new logo some glossy plastic physical button for different functions like autopilot and cruise control here we have voice command and volume uh, and also here behind the stalks you have some buttons here and here with those buttons you can see you can change different views and different information in the cockpit by the way this is the three dimensional 3d i cockpit from peugeot the newest is one it looks fabulous i mean the great part is that you can customize it in many ways and you have so many information there like consumption speed battery what happened with the battery um, you can see the consumption on the right side 6.5 liter last 28 kilometers uh, you can see you can change in the middle to see different power and uh, speed you can see also the navigation in a beautiful way and it looks quite 3d i don't know if you can see it on the camera but in reality it looks really interesting and yeah it's great that you can customize and you can change it in different ways and that that's something that i like very much it starts to look like a like a proper beautiful uh, cockpit it's one of the most beautiful cockpit to be honest and it's very nice integrated there because you still have a very good visibility uh, out there here you have a big mirror and surprisingly you have a quite good visibility in the back there even though it's a small window um, usually you should have a good visibility if it's not snow on the car uh, up here you have this glass that you can open it up of course you can open this up and I will try to show you really fast and I will close it. You cannot open it completely, but you can open it 
kind of a little bit more than half and it's great i mean it's great that it make much more bright inside the, the cabin here it looks much nicer also on the seats i forget to show you this peugeot integrated nice lion new logo that looks gorgeous also some led lights up here with the touch function sos button info button and then you have here beautiful two led lights with a mirror and then of course handle up here that was the video guys i think it was useful for you i think you get some useful information uh, from it and now if you still have question about the car ask me down below whatever you want to ask maybe i miss uh, something but in general the car is just fabulous it looks really good it's very modern super design it's almost perfect from outside inside it's also incredible good quality materials the price stays somewhere between budget cars and premium cars so they hit for the premium and i think it's, it's a great great combination uh, of what they offer so my rating for this car from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. i find it a very very good car and it's my favorite car in this class to be honest i like uh, many things here uh, inside the car and, and it feels really really incredible anyway if you want to see the test drive check out that test drive i have a separate video on my channel if it's not already there probably will come next day so click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also guys thank you very much for watching my videos if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out emil frey in mosedorf i will leave the link in the description if you want to test drive the car see the car buy the car check them out they have also a 3500 francs discount on this car so yeah totally deserve to check it out and yeah that was the video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe thank you very much for watching my videos and i see you soon in the next one bye guys